Hello everyone and welcome to iBasiac and welcome to another vacuum cleaner unboxing. It's an AEG. I haven't had very much luck with AEG vacuums. Any of you regular viewers may remember. I've had three other AEG vacuums that are featured on this channel. I'll put a playlist somewhere in the video that you'll be able to see if you want to. Um, I've got an AEG Autotronic which was supposed to be brand new and unused but uh, there's plenty of things wrong with it. I've still got it. It's still something that I need to look at and hopefully fix. And if I do, you will be seeing a demo of that. I also did a demo of an AEG Stair and Car Vac. Mm, it's all right. Nothing wrong with it, but I didn't really like it and I sold that one on. And then I got an AEG Ultra One, which came with out the supplied power head. It should have had a power head but also it had something wrong with it, the electronics were faulty. So, not much luck with AEG products. This one is a brand new AEG from a reputable retailer. So, fingers crossed that this AEG Ultra One Oco, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, let's hope this one is okay. Okay, without any further ado, let's unbox and reveal the vacuum. Now, as you can see, this AEG Ultra One comes in rather a plain box. It's supposed to be 100% recycled packaging. So there was this plain box with this more colourful sleeve on the front. There is the vacuum. Ooh, try and get a shot of it. You'll be seeing the real thing in a few moments, so anyway. This is made, the machine itself is claimed to be made of 70% recycled plastic. So you'd think, well, it'd be cheaper, but no, it wasn't cheaper. It's supposed to be eco-friendly regarding the motor wattage. It's supposed to have the equivalent power of a 2200 watt motor, but I believe it's uh, 700 and something. I'm not sure. This is branded AEG in the UK, but of course it is an Electrolux. It does have just seen Electrolux written underneath here. So, in other countries, you'll find this under the Electrolux brand. It's a triple A, triple A rating. Um, I believe that is for energy, floor, and emissions. I'm not sure what it gets. I think it might get a C for carpet cleaning. But anyway, it's got a red dot award, 2014. Right, that's about it. That's the sleeve. Let's have a look at the machine. Made in the EU, so it's not Chinese, doesn't say the wattage on it. I have a feeling that these are made in Hungary. I think. But anyway, this was delivered to me last night on a stormy, windy night. Now you can get for this machine a turbo nozzle, so I do hope to get that for this. You can get other versions of this as well, the top of the range version, which maybe one day I'll be able to get if this goes well. Um, the top model comes with a power head and remote control. Well that's good. I'm assuming that's a spare bag because I want to use this around my home for a bit before I do the demo and when I start my demo I want to put a new bag in so looks like there will be a fitted bag because normally they fit a bag at the factory so there is a spare bag S bag ultra long performance it will seal when I remove it from the machine and we can just see there look it will close up so a good quality by the looks of it fleece bag not sure what the guarantee, our oh, two year guarantee. Please take a moment to activate it. Here's the instructions. See, I've never, never seen one of these in the flesh. I think, you know, I was quite impressed with that first Ultra one I got, apart from the fact it was um, faulty. I was impressed, it was, seemed very well built, but I was impressed with how quiet it was. And I think this one is going to be as quiet or even quieter. Anyway, I will study those instructions properly. I should know enough about vacuums to be able to assemble it for you. Ah, it comes with a separate hard floor head. I wasn't, didn't really know it came with this, but that's good. So this is uh, 
what some manufacturers call your parquet floor nozzle. AEG have a funny shape attachment on these, it's sort of an oval shape so you can't fit any old attachments to these vacuums. Oh, it says Parqueto Pro on it. So you've got uh, some side brushes flared out at the side and brushes front and back of the suction inlet. You've also got two little wheels inside there and of course your parking bracket for storing it or parking it on the vacuum. So that's the parquet, 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 parquet Roger. Oh, that's separate. So here is the rather nice shaped handle. Obviously no controls apart from a suction control here, but not obviously a remote control. That just allows air into the hose to reduce the suction. It does have a speed control on the machine itself. I've never really used that sort of, um, if, I, if my vacuums have got electronic speed control, I do find this sort of control a bit surplus to requirements. So, yeah, it feels, it feels pretty sturdy, pretty good. A black hose, mm, that looks pretty short, I have to say. Um, mm, doesn't seem to be tapered either. Doesn't seem to be, a lot of manufacturers now are making tapered hoses, so they're wider at the cleaner end than they are at the handle end. This seems the same. But saying that, the actual diameter of the hose does seem a little bit wider than some. That is a little bit stingy, the length of the hose. I would say that's probably 1.5. I would like to have seen 1.8 at least. Here is, oops, the end that goes into the machine. And so this end is, seems to have good seals on it. Anyway, there's a seal here before I put the handle on which will be just a case of pushing it in, I think. Lining up the little button at the top. There we go, that's in, that's clicked into place. If I want to remove it again, if I get a blockage, I just press that button there and I can release the hose from the handle. Right, here is the telescopic tube. Obviously it's a, it's a non-powered tube this, because it doesn't have the power head. Again, it's an odd shape, quite light. But again, it feels quite sturdy. It'll be telescopic, oh, here's the control. You know, so far, quality seems good. I'm not sure, it's probably on a par with Miele. Maybe slightly less, I don't know. But anyway, there's the tube. Last thing out before the vacuum. I like the look of these nozzles, I must say. Here we have, it says, silent air technology. So I believe this nozzle, apart from being efficient, is supposed to be quiet in use as well. Hmm. Got some bellows there. A little bit of sort of glue marks on there, unfortunately. Two wheels. Got some metal strips underneath. Got litter pickers. You've got your uh, foot operated pedal. Ow. Oh. There we go. To lower the brush, brush at the front and a brush at the back. Lower that for your hard floors. A few bits stuck on there. Swivels, of course. Moves up and down, swivels from side to side. So, yes, I do like the look of that. For a straight suction nozzle. Looks quite nice. Okay, that's, that's everything out, apart from the cleaner itself. Very striking colour scheme. Black and a sort of a lime or neon green. Just double check there's nothing else in there. Let's just 
move that out of the way. Whoops, a daisy. There we go. Quite light. It's a full-sized vacuum. It's not. It's not compact by any means. That's quite striking, isn't it? Look at that. Quite a striking cleaner. It's a little bit, a little bit dusty. You think they've given it a wipe over at the factory? Let's see. Oh, it's 750 watts, according to the rating plate. There we go. This says made in EU. AEG and there's a, a number call the Electrolux Group Floor Care Helpline written here embossed says silent air technology you've got swivel caster that's nice and smooth running swivel caster at the front two ooh, very quiet and smooth running wheels. Some some of these vacuums I've unboxed, mainly the Chinese cheaper ones, when you don't go like that with the wheel you can hear this terrible ominous plastic scraping noise but nothing. So it's even quiet when you pull it along. Ultra One, our most advanced vacuum it says here, top class cleaning performance, extremely silent, superior handling and there's some more blurb on the back. Here's the energy label. So of course A for energy use, A for dust emissions, B, oh that's pretty good if this is to believed, B for carpet cleaning performance, for a straight suction cleaner B is pretty good. C is normally what you'd expect for a decent cylinder but a B. And an A for hard floors, 66 decibels. Now that is pretty quiet because anything under 70 decibels, I think for a vacuum, would be considered quiet. Okay, let's take these labels off. We've, we've seen them, we don't need to keep them on. Take this one off. Whoops. Oh, oh why they've done that? Oh, they've done it differently. Oh, it's a different sort of label. There we go. Right. Oh, and as if we didn't need to see it again, but we've got the energy label again as a sticker. Okay. Well, there it is. Mm. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Phew, I thought something had fallen off it. I must say, it does have a, does have a, a nice feel about it. They're, in the, they're sort of the premium end. You know, they're not the most expensive vacuums AEG, but they're certainly not cheap. Although, saying that, I have seen some cheaper ones on Amazon. Basic cylinder models you can get for 60 to 70 pounds. Right, let's uh, take a close look at the machine. So here it is, pretty uh, familiar setup. Obviously it's a nice striking design, but uh, the way everything's set out is pretty standard for a cylinder vacuum. So you've got your pedals at the back, your cord rewind pedal one side and your on off pedal the other. And here in the middle you've got your variable speed for minimum for your delicate curtains, a slightly higher setting for your upholstery, higher for your lightweight rugs, another setting for carpets and the maximum for your hard floors. There's a bag check indicator, I assume it looks like a piston check indicator. This seems to be where it vents out, the exhaust air comes out of here. There's a button here that says filter, so I'm assuming, oops there we go. We've got, again I think this is washable, I'll confirm this in the demo. That's a HEPA filter, there is another, but I don't know if, oh yes it isn't fixed, I thought that might be fixed. Ah, another sponge filter at the back. So it goes through the HEPA filter first and then the sponge then through the sponge. The sponge filter will also act as a diffuser and it will also help to muffle the noise of this vacuum. Here's your parking bracket on the back. It should be now oh, there's one at this side as well. So you've got parking brackets or storage brackets at the side and a parking bracket at the back. 
Now there is one onboard tool. Again, I'm not a fan of multi-tools, but this may be better than some. It says three in one here on this little silver panel. So I press that to reveal the three in one tool. So this harks back a little bit to the old Electrolux butterfly tool. So this way it's your dusting brush. They look like real bristle brushes, horsehair, but not very, very soft. You can use it this way as a crevice tool, but it's a little bit short and stubbly. You're not going to get into very narrow gaps because of course you've got the width of this. I'm not sure if you can get a longer crevice tool to fit this model, because as I say, with the odd shaped fitting they've got here, you can't put any old tools into there. I will research that at a later date. Obviously this opens out and now you've got your upholstery tool. So probably not as good as the classic Electrolux butterfly tool but it's more or less the same sort of thing and I expect that's much better than the awful 3-in-1 tool Hoover provide on some of their vacuums because at least this one you've got a sort of a regular shaped small nozzle instead of trying to use this sort of teacup shaped nozzle that Hoover have. So that is a much better thing. So just one tool and that stores just in that compartment there and underneath we have the bag. So as I said it will seal itself when you pull it out of the machine out it comes, sealing all the dirt inside, drop that into your bin, slide in a new bag. Pre-motor filter here. I assume you can wash that, there's nothing that suggests that you can't hand wash that. That's it, so all in all, pretty, pretty pleased with the way this looks. But you see, looks aren't everything folks. There's other things to factor in when looking or considering buying a vacuum. There's of course the performance, there's the convenience and the noise level. Well I think this is going to score very well on noise level. I think this is going to be a very quiet vacuum. Let's just put the hose in. It fits into there. Excuse me holding that in between my legs. I'm just trying to keep it out of the way. Right, so the hose just fits in and it does actually swivel. To release the hose, there's two buttons either side. We can just pull it out again, nice seals. I'm expecting some vacuum cleaners, you can actually hear the air rushing out of certain areas where it joins to the machine, or sometimes you hear a bit of a hiss where the hose joins the handle. So hopefully, we won't hear any of that. We don't want air, we don't want suction to escape, especially on these low energy models that do they do have, I've experienced, they have less suction than the high wattage ones, let's be honest. But suction isn't everything, I mean, sometimes too much suction is a bad thing. That's a very flat flex. Not sure of the specifications of the length of flex, but I'll put all that underneath the video. I'll get all the details. I think it's going to be a reasonable length. I think it might be about eight, eight meters. That seems like a good, yeah, that seems like a very good, strong cord rewind. Okay, I'm going to turn it to minimum before I turn it on. Ah, oh, but before I do, let's connect the wand. That pushes in. Again, nice click action, and again it's a push to release. It's going to be a little bit stiff because it's new. That's it. Again, suction seals everywhere. Let's pop on the silent air technology nozzle. Again, another push fit until it clicks. Much better than the friction fit, I think. And adjust the handle. Yep, seems good so far. Okie dokie, let's park it. Plug it in and we'll give our first little go of this new AEG Ultra One. Now it does seem to have a good length of cord. I would say 
I'm, I'm guessing it'll be eight meters minimum. I know this because I've got lots of vacuum cleaners that where I am at the moment in one of the bedrooms, the most handy socket for a vacuum is on my landing right at the far end, right at the front of the house. Some of the vacuums do not reach properly into this room. Well, they reach into part of it, but I can't get round the bed because the flex is too short. But this one I certainly will be able to clean all around with. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? I mean, I'm looking at it. <laughs> I'm looking at it on the viewfinder, seeing what you'll be seeing in the video, as well as looking at it in real life. Hmm. Okay, let's turn it on. Let's see. I do like the way it uh, it moves. It's very smooth, smooth running. As far as pulling it along. Right. Let's put it on low setting first. Pretty quiet. That's the setting for your upholstery. Rugs. Now that's the setting you'd use most of the time when you're carpet cleaning. And that is not noisy, is it? And that is maximum. That is very, very quiet. Smells a little bit, smells of a new motor. Okay, well I'm going to have a quick push. Just on, I'll just do it on the, um, put it on the carpet setting. Just before I do actually, I'll just start it off on maximum and I'll turn it back down to carpet. So I just want to see if it has a soft start feature. Yes, it does. I mean, that's amazing. That is amazingly quiet. That, I would say that this is the quietest vacuum cleaner I've got. Wow. Ooh. It's a little bit hard to push. And I'm not on full power. The nozzle does seem to scrape a bit on the carpet, I mean... But, I can, you know, it's actually, it does grip, it grips the carpet. Let's try it on maximum. Well, it's a little bit hard to push on, my, on this particular carpet on maximum. A bit awkward trying to do it in this small space. Now that's too much actually. I'll turn it down. That's better. That is, wow, that is so so quiet. 66 decibels, I think I said. That's very good. Let's uh, have a little judge of the suction. Obviously, I can't. Uh, I can't give you the air watts or anything, but I can just give you my experience by going like that. Wow, I mean on minimum, pretty good. Just to, I'll turn it to midway now. Now maximum. You know, for a 750 watt motor, you know, that's pretty good. That's pretty impressive. So far, so good. I can see that the bag check indicator is working. It is, it's what I thought it would be. It's a piston type. If I can try and show you. You might get a bit of a whooshing noise though, actually, if I try and turn the, because obviously the air is going to go out of here and if it hits my microphone, it might, even though it is quiet, you know, you might get the air rush noise. Trying to hold it so the light's not in the way. It is a piston, so it's green and it will change to orange. It will fluctuate up and down. 
as you use the vacuum. Well, all in all, that's pretty good. Obviously, it's the very, very early days. First impressions and all that. Don't have to see how it fares when I use it, how convenient it is. And I've got a bit more room to really test this vacuum. Let's park it, there we are. So, there we go, that's the unboxing and first look at the AEG Ultra One. Oco, <laughs> I think that's it. Oco, I think that's how you pronounce it. But, uh, whoops a daisy, that is one, I think, possibly you might agree, you might not, but I think that that's one pretty stylish looking vacuum cleaner. Quite striking, with the black and the lime. Very nice. If all goes well, I can see me buying some more AGs. I might go for one of the cheaper cylinders I've seen on Amazon for about 60 to 70 pounds. I might see what they're like. Not sure if they're made in Hungary. I don't know if at that price. Hopefully they will be, but they might be Chinese. And maybe I'll be able to stretch to the top model with the Powerhead. I do like Powerhead vacuums. But in the meantime, I'll test this out as it came and I will hopefully get the turbo nozzle for this as well. I've heard good things about that too. So, all in all, well so far it's a thumbs up. Let's hope that after my demo it'll still be a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and be updated when I upload all my new videos and please check my back catalogue. If you want to search for a particular make or model just type in the search box on my um, page not on the YouTube search, but on the little search bit that you should find actually on my front page of my channel. You will see all the other videos, uh, all the other vacuum cleaners I've uh, tested. So until the next time, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.